here system, pack system here and on this wall. Right, so now you can kind of put these Do two this. together. And 60 inches will come to treatment here. Right. Okay. So this is the space upstairs and we've got a delivery coming right here. This is what was originally here, which was this mirror. And I'm getting something that's coming in at the moment. I'm keeping this one as well. All right. I'm going to film it, see what I can see. So happy about that couch. God. The couch is going to be insane. I can't wait. It's going to look amazing. I can't believe. I just I can't believe I just found it. It's going to be a cool place to hang out. Hi guys, welcome. So I figured this was the video to just get out, just get it out there, do my final closet tour. I've been meaning to do this for months now and it just didn't happen. Anyway, this is it, finally. Why am I clapping so much? When we decided to take over the full house, because we used to rent this level, this floor up here, um, I decided that I knew I wanted this room to be the space where I work, like the space where all my clothes are, where I'm getting dressed, where I'm figuring out outfits, whether I'm doing shoots. You know, I wanted this to be basically my studio space and I've been dying to show it to you in its entirety. Anyway, this is it. So I'm just gonna get stuck right in with my, my tool. By the way, this dress has pockets. Don't we love a dress that has pockets? And look at the back. Oh God, I just, a dress with pockets is, is just everything. If this is still available, I'm gonna link it for you below. Anyway. Enough of that, let me get stuck in with uh, my studio. So this is what you see when you first walk in. You can see my wardrobe on this side and you'll also see it on the left side when I walk in. I've always looked for a place to house my jewellery so this was just perfect. I knew that as soon as I saw these glass drawers I thought yep that's it, that's it, that's it. Um, so this is great and I love that you can just pull it out. There you go and I get access to all my pieces. I haven't got this perfect yet. I'm still sort of figuring this out. This is actually a charm bracelet. I just want to quickly show you this. I'm not going to do like a jewelry collection or anything, uh, but this is a, a charm bracelet that um, I got from my mum. She used to wear this so much and it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite treasured pieces. And I remember when I was a little girl growing up as she got each piece. But anyway, um, so one here and then we've got another one. This one isn't as full because it allows me to grow and to get more pieces as time passes. My most popular worn pieces are definitely kept up here in the top. Basically I decided to just have like shelving and have an area where I could put like short pieces like jackets and dresses. Okay so this is a section where I wanted to keep um, like all like shorter pieces of clothing so um, I have another area on that I'll show you in a moment but over here we've got like just shorter dresses because you know I've been talking about wanting to wear more shorter dresses because I mostly just wear um, longer dresses as you lot know case in point these are where I keep um, my shorter pieces oh my god this Ghani dress I cannot wait cannot wait to start wearing this who remembers this poochie like dress look at that dress look at look at the dress Comment below if you remember this poochie like dress that I found. Okay, and then I've got my blazers. I don't have too many. I've actually narrowed it down. I did a lot of purging and I decided to just purge down. If you've not seen my purge videos, they're actually with my friend Rihanna. I'm going to link them below so you can watch, have a good laugh, get a cup of tea, put your feet up, and they're a hoot. They are an absolute riot. <laughs> what? <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> They're mostly thrifted and vintage um, and I've got this fantastic leather jacket that was gifted kindly from Rixo. This is just, this is just a beautiful, oh, this is such a, such a gorgeous jacket. Um, so I love this piece. Look at that, look at the back. So good, right? There and then I've also got my sort of like knee, I don't really wear knee length skirts. Skirts are kept right here. Um, and yeah, and I think that's about it. This is all stuff for Shopbop. This is for a project to be returning those, so those won't actually be here. I made a point also of getting all white hangers, um, all wood white hangers. I picked these all up from Ikea. You can get them in a pack. Here's a pack that I haven't even opened yet, but you lot might be familiar with these. Okay, and then coming down to here, I know I'm headless, but I am, I am honestly, I'm here. I'm just, you know, I can't. Anyway, you get the picture. By the way, this whole system in this room, 
it's still a work in progress. So there's nothing like perfected yet. I think it's just gonna be one of those organic things that I will just constantly keep changing. As the seasons change, I'll put different things on display. Um, yeah, so that's, just bear that in mind. Here, um, this is not sorted out at all. I need to get organizers for this, so bear with me. I'm just gonna show it to you now, but it will eventually have organizers in it. A lot of the belts that I love to wear um, are in here. Um, also, my sunglasses are in here, and I need to actually obviously get um, the proper compartments so I can have my sunglasses laid out nicely inside of here. That is definitely going to be coming. And then going down, this is where I just keep my jeans. I, I did a purge on my jeans and I decided, okay, so what am I wearing? What am I not wearing? And I just stuck to, I forced myself to to pick only the, the, the jeans that I do love, love and fit me and I want to wear. Um, this is just a pair of tweed trousers that I slung in here, but I'll probably end up moving them. But anyway, actually, I should have put these over there because they're tweed. Better. Yeah, better. Okay, so these are the two jewellery drawers that you just saw earlier right here. Um, transparent glass which I love so I can actually see my jewelry and then under here I've got like this clear glass uh, front drawer. The very back of this drawer is actually my workout gear because I took a break from working out and I want to sort of get back into it so it's all at the back behind here so I'm not going to pull that out but that is what is in here and then coming down here I won't open this up but this is where I keep my um, stuff for sleeping. Remember this from last week my Lily Silk my Lily Silk um, silk cap. I told you a lot last week, I sleep with these and I really do. These are great for your hair. Naturalistas out there, you know what I'm talking about. If you've not seen the video where I talk about getting that, I'll leave a link for you um, below. It was last week's video, but I do have a code for Lily Silk, so I'm not going to talk about that much here because it's in last week's video. If you're looking for any silk pieces like that, check out the video. And this one is where I keep my underwear and then this one down here is where I keep my exercise gear. I've got so much. It's not really any sort of order. It's just, just mishmash. It's not like perfect. I can't do perfection. I just can't do, I can't do it. I can't do like, oh my God, here's my wardrobe tour and pull this out and everything's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like perfect, like, mm, mm, mm. I just, I just can't do it. But this is as good as it gets, which is good enough for me. Keep my socks in here. And for up here, if you can see, um, I just have my straw bag, which I love this bag. It's so cool. I love how just plain and simple it is. And I have two sizes. There's a smaller size and it's actually inside this bag as well. This is just a Chanel box from one of my, whenever I have a Chanel bag, I always keep the Chanel boxes. It's always good to keep the authenticity card and the paperwork and the original box. So I keep them and I love to help them have them on display. Um, but I think that is it for this overall section. So I just showed you one side, one wall, and now we're on the other side. This section is a little bit wider because the other section was like split into two and this section is split into three. I don't know how to explain it. I should just stand away and you can just look. I mean, you'll be, you guys already know what I have, so you could probably tell me what everything is. I just wanted it so I could see all my pieces. Um, and be able to reach for them really quickly, which I have done. The one thing I love about all of this is that I've been able to like really um, just see all my pieces um, and just, just to see what I've got. I think that's really the most important thing. And I nearly fell over like going like this. This is gold for me, so I love it. Okay, so let me just go into detail. I'll show you from the top. Um, one thing I love about this space, by the way, is the light, because right now the light is absolutely gorgeous in this room. Um, and yeah, oh, I love it. The light, the light. Give me the light, give me all of the light. Up here, my Chloe bag, which you've seen before in my, actually you've seen all these bags before in my bag collection video. Linked below if you've not seen my whole collection. And once you go down the street, when the sun is out, you look like a human disco ball. I love vintage, I love thrifted bags, I love designer bags, I love pre-loved bags. Mix everything together, that's who, that's, that's my vibe. This is the three Chanel bags I own. This is the, um, the square mini, which you've seen before, I believe, lots, lots of times I've posted it. Um, this is my workhorse bag, I've had this forever, it's um, caviar leather. This is my lambskin bag here. I'm not gonna to talk too much about this, just wanna kind of keep this going. And um, this is my um, Chanel trendy bag in lambskin, gold hardware. All of them are gold hardware, that's my thing. I love gold hardware for Chanel. And my two Loewe puzzle bags, love these to pieces. Um, yeah, both are a size small, both are the original with the, when I say original, 
um, Loewe has stopped making them with the feet. They've also taken off this wide strap feature on them, which they all have. I love stuff like that. So I'm glad I managed to just get both of them while whilst those pieces were still on the bag because now they don't have those. Moving down, we've got my um, two vintage Dior saddlebags. I love these so much. Um, I got these both pre-loved. You'll notice I've got gold stands. I'll link below to the Amazon where I actually got these from and they're adjustable so you can put them as high or as low as you want. And these shelves are as well. All the shelves are adjustable. Here is another pull-out system that I've got with like my jeans I had on the other side. So I've got another one on this side. Um, I love that I haven't got everything completely filled. You know, not every single nook and cranny is crammed because it means that this can all grow with me. And I wanted it, I wanted to have space to grow. Okay, so moving over to the main section. So I come on this side? Oh, it doesn't really matter. The main section right here, this is where I've got um, my blouses and my tops. I keep them all here. I try to sort of mildly color coordinate so that the, the light is going through to like blues, browns. Um, a little bit of greens and then ending up in the blacks. It's like a really good way when you color coordinate to see what kind of colors do you keep gravitating to? You start to see that when you do something like this. What are the pieces that I repeat? And I've got two more drawers here. Um, the top one, I actually am using it just for like, just little bits and pieces. I actually have a lot of my masks in here. And so I'll show you a cutaway of those. Did I try and keep the information with the mask so that if I ever, you know, wear them on my Instagram or anything, I can, um, you know, tag who, who gave them to me. Uh, I also have another drawer down here. This is completely empty. And again, I like that because I like being able to grow into this wardrobe. I have space left. I can use this for whatever I want. And that's, that was exactly what I wanted. Same here. This is another glass drawer. At the moment, I've got some neutral colored um, jumpers and knits. My fisherman's that I got, my fisherman knits that I got from Vintage Shops are in here. From Under the Stories is Cardigan. But again, it's quite empty because I know, you know, as fall, autumn and next seasons progress, this will start to fill up and I'll start to change what's in here. Okay, and then for down here, um, in this, I've got three drawers here. Now, I've got in the two top ones, these two um, is clothing. In here, I've got like um, summer tops and stuff, t-shirts, tanks, um, denim skirts are in here. And then in this one, I've got um, actually knits, very thin knits, so not the chunky ones like up here. These are like just getting ready for you know, the next couple of months when over, when summer is over. Oh, but uh, I wanted to actually just start to just have them here so I can just forecast and sort of see what does Karen have? Because these are like my ride or die pieces that I wear, um, you know, when I'm wearing my coats and stuff, I wear these sort of things underneath. And then in the bottom drawer here is my camera, a lot of my camera equipment. Um, I do have um, an area, a bench downstairs where I have a lot more of my camera equipment, but the immediate stuff like the camera that I'm using right now, um, my vlogging camera, the tripod for it, you know, all kinds of stuff, main lens lenses. I just keep them right here, which is perfect because I can just reach for them. I'm working in this space a lot of times. So it's just good to have them like right there to hand. Then on the far end, this side right here, what am I doing? I'm like talking with my back to the area that I want to talk about. Right up here you can see I've got um, my gorgeous uh, vintage bag that I found, that patent leather bag. I love this thing so, so much and I cannot wait to start wearing this again. It's so funny because I did um, a live um, talk with Timmy McPherson about on Instagram about Prada Spring Summer Next Collection for 2021 and one of the bags they showed for Prada is a bag that looks so close to this. This one was from Dobbins Furniture, Vintage Furniture, I love that place. So good because this is where this beloved chair is from. We'll talk about that in a minute. Coming down, my Gucci bag, I've seen before in my bag collection video and behind it is my Stowed. The, um, this is the bucket bag, which I think some of you have seen before. Brown, rich croc color is just, it's just so pretty, so I love this. I like the idea of keeping this together because they're both in that same sort of color family. So that's why I, I did that. The next one, we've got my Fendi baguette, my um, vintage bag. And then behind that, we've got two other bags. We've got my little bag here, the little Lifner bag in green, that Hunter green, which is, ah, oh, I love that green. 
and then we've got the JW pie bag, which I think a lot of you got that. In fact, I know a lot of you got that bag after I did that street style episode and I caught someone in New York wearing this gorgeous bag and then you ended up buying it as well. Leave a comment below if you're one of the people who got this bag because it was just, it just looks so much more expensive than what it is. Look at that. It's just so pretty. Look at that, the finish on it. So good. And then I ended up, this is not the strap it comes with. The strap is actually inside the bag, but I used the Kate Kate strap and I put that on because I just like the look of it. I wouldn't wear this with this, but I'm just gonna show you. It's just so cool. Hold on. Actually, it doesn't look terrible, does it? It just reminds me almost like a dual strap. Um, and I actually have put these straps on my dual um, vintage saddlebags. All right, so yeah, so this is Kate Kate and this is like a pony hair. See that? Can you see? I don't know if you can tell. I stroke it. I just sit there like doing that. Just, oh. it's, it's the little things that just get me going. So I keep that right at the back here, just behind. You can still see the pieces and that's what I like a lot. Coming down to the next one, you've got my uh, vintage Fendi in the beaded. I got this from Vestier Collective. This bag is absolutely stunning. It is so good. And then behind that is my stowed bag, the Ray um, the triangle bag. I think you guys have seen this before. I did so pictures a while when I've worn these bags. So you can just like go, oh yeah, yeah, I remember. And then behind that is the um, the pearl bag, the Antonia Shrimps pearl leader there. You can see it. <laughs> okay, and then at the very bottom, right here I've got two shelves and they're actually split so that this is one shelf but it's split into two heights these shoes right here these are so good who remembers these who remembers these top shop shoes they're so amazing oh god i haven't even worn them yet this summer but i don't give a toss because this to me is like a classic shoe it's not going to date at all um and then got my end of the stories the strappy shoes with a little bit of a block heel i just think these are so classic my tethers right here and i've got um a pair of um, dad sandals as well there's a drawer right here i didn't even realize i'm such an idiot i could have put those in there the whole time i've got a pair of white broken stocks these are so good it actually would go well with this dress i'm wearing wouldn't it um a little block heel they're so timeless with that contrasting block heel i just think those kind of combinations are so nice together okay so this mirror i picked up from dobbins uh furniture i just i this was pure luck getting this because to me the framing of this kind of goes with the framing of the couch the couch is also from dobbins you guys probably saw the vlog where i showed you the sheer saga of trying to get this flipping couch into this house. So now somehow, uh, listen to me. Okay, can you come in? Um, yeah, so, oh, this couch. Okay, so this couch, I feel like I manifested this because I knew when I had this space, I wanted a vintage vibe or or a vintage sofa that was always the i believe in manifestation leave a comment do you do you because i have manifested so much including coming to new york from london i talked about wanting something that was vintage here and whether it looked it or was it and i was looking for so long on like google and places like that um, and then I found it on Dobbins. I couldn't believe it. So I reached out to them. I DM them knowing that others were DMing them And I said, you know, I want it. Is it still available? They texted straight away. Yes I was like, oh my god, I want it. I said I want it before I knew the dimensions I didn't even know the size yet. It's hit or miss, isn't it? When it comes to decor shopping and with clothes actually, but decor for sure It's hit or miss. You don't know what you're gonna get. All right So that is the story with getting that the newer wardrobe areas there And I'm going to show you a scene which you're probably a bit more familiar with which is right here um, behind me is my standing mirror um, I got this from anthropology last year some point um, I was looking for a vintage one but I just couldn't find something that I liked um, in the right size in the right shape uh, at the right price at the right condition I was just there was ugh! and I always try and make do but I just couldn't find that one hit the ground running using this thing I use it every single day throughout the day so 
called Buds of Brooklyn, which is so nice. I'll leave their Instagram account on the screen. They very kindly sent these over to me. So I wanted to make sure I'd definitely give them a shout out because I think they're absolutely beautiful. I decided to call her Carrie from Sex in the City. One of you guys mentioned it and I was like, yeah, that's it. That is like the perfect name because I've always loved, I've always loved Carrie from Sex and the City. She's my favorite character. Okay, so this is the shoe rack. Now this, um, I got these shelves from Ikea years ago. Um, they were originally were kept downstairs in the bedroom and we turned the downstairs bedroom into a living room. The bedroom is now upstairs. So we decided to repurpose these same Ikea shelves. They were originally longer, like I think it was like almost twice this length. They're called the Ikea lac shelves. Um, and we, well, Michael cut them down. He customized it to fit this space because I just saw this was a blank space and I just saw it was like a column shaped. And I thought this would be perfect for my shoes. Again, I use this every single day. And obviously I can change this out as the seasons change. Right now it's got all my sandals that are mostly here. The sandals that I tend to want to reach for the most in summer, it's still really hot in New York. Oh, the doorbell's ringing. That hasn't happened in a while from one of my videos, has it? Wow, anyway, who is it? Did I order anything? So before there was these old curtains on the right hand side, so we went to Home Depot and got bifold doors instead. This is where I keep the rest of my clothing now and I love that it's like this kind of like shutter style accordion doors. This is where I keep the rest of my clothes. Um, it's mostly um, like my long dresses. That's 99% of what you're seeing in here. Top are some of my extra bags that I still have, which um, I can't keep them on display, but I keep them right here and it's perfect. And these are the bags that I don't reach for as often necessarily, but you know, they're bags that I still wear. Some, uh, long like pants my jacquemus my infamous let me show you my jacquemus trousers that you guys love so much these they're so amazing these are so, if you haven't got your hands i think these are on sale now so i'm going to see if i can link these below because they are the epic I have them in white as well i would team it with the infamous Jacquemus. I'm not gonna lead you wrong. These are flipping epic, as epic as the light is in this room. One of the things I love about this space is all the old original architecture in this house. Um, like right up here, you can see this crown molding that kind of arches around, that's gorgeous. Um, this kind of like acorn design, which is right here. This arch repeats on the other side. It's those little things that to me just adds the character to this home. This is not a new development, this house. It is an old piece of property. We like to keep it as original as we can while still keeping it modern. Um, this chandelier is from Restoration Hardware. I picked it up during their sale. Um, I found it from the kids section of Restoration Hardware where they have um, chandeliers specifically meant for like, I guess for children's rooms and stuff like that. But I loved the size of it because it's quite small. I thought it fitted this space really really well but the same applies for decor i find that the decor pieces from the kids section is much less than from the adult section it's perfect it doesn't look like something from the kids section does it does it does that no it doesn't so don't answer look at this um light switch it's the original to the property i love that it's like a push button one it's little things like that that i love and now we see here's the flowers and there's a little stall um, at least you're getting an idea like of layout of the land oh my sofa and the mirror both vintage and then my snake plant and yes look she's got a flipping piece of underwear on planter pot i like that it's white because it just kind of disappears into the wall so that the focus is on the green it just makes that pop these old radiators i just think they look so cool i have a thing for like aesthetics of old things like old radiators the floors in here are the original pine wood floors that came with this house and we just had them refurbished um, they originally were really scuffed up really bad uh, state from the tenants that were here before so we had all the scuffs buffed out and we had um, a nice sealant put on and this gloss high gloss finish so these are gorgeous and you can see I've got French doors as well that lead out into um, the outside from up top into a balcony so I can keep these open and have a really nice outdoor indoor look when I've got these French doors open it's really nice just especially in the summertime to be able to have those and just to leave it I love the panelingless wall I think it's just a great 
feature, an old historic feature really to the property, which gives so much character just to be able to experience living and decorating around things like that. I just, oh, I just, I think stuff like that is just brilliant. So that is it. That is my tour of my closet. Like I said before, I wanted something that was functional, beautiful, calming for me and visually interesting, pretty to look at at the same time. So it's all of those things. It's exactly what I imagined it to be. Cause like I said, this was an empty L shaped old room with scratched up floors. So I had to really imagine what would I, what did I want? First thing I knew I wanted was, I knew I wanted the couch with a mirror above it. I knew I wanted the standing mirror and it would probably be over on that side. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to say. Um, I just wanted to, have you lot see this this space that I'm you know living in I work up here all the time uh, but sometimes I'm downstairs as well in the kitchen there's a kitchen tour coming as well because we did a lot of renovations in the kitchen we have a lot of before and after so you're gonna see that this will always be a work in progress it'll never be perfect nothing is at least not to me and I love imperfection I find perfection in imperfection. And that's why I love vintage so much, is because it's imperfect, you know, it's it's pre-loved, it's worn, it's patinaed, it's all that, you know, I want my space to feel like that. This is an old home, so I want everything I have to have a feeling of just, just fitting in. So that is it, that is my lot. That is my closet tour. Give this video a thumbs up if you got inspired by seeing it. Maybe gave you some ideas, maybe it didn't. Maybe just love just being nosy, just seeing what's Karen's face look like. Um, I do videos every single Friday and you can follow me on Instagram between this Friday and the next one, next video. My Instagram is Karen Britchick, I'll leave it on the screen. Same as my YouTube channel, I'll try and keep it very easy. What else? Oh, and the home goods video last week. Oh my God. This place is amazing. Should I take these? I had no idea. It's brilliant. Um, we are getting some more pieces, like decor pieces. So I will show you those. I got promise and I will in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. But I thought for now, let me at least get this studio tour um, out there. That is it. Ah, I'm done. I don't think there's anything else I want to say except that you need to get this dress. As pockets and it's long. Look. See? Bye. Have a good weekend as I always say and take care. I'll talk to you on Instagram until next Friday. Bye. <laughs>